everyone, my name is Julia from Youth Yoga Project and I am here to teach a mat-based class for stress relief. So thanks for joining me. If you have your yoga mat, you can bring it out. If you don't have your yoga mat, just find a place on the ground so you can move around with me. We're going to breathe, move, and relax because that's what we do to empower young people to have self-regulation tools to manage their emotions and we hope that this class will help you. If you have a pillow, you can go ahead and sit on it to help yourself prop up, or you can go ahead and lay down because we're gonna start with a grounding visualization to help us get into the present moment and stay focused. So I'm gonna go ahead and prop up on my pillow. It helps my sits bones get off the ground and aligns my spine, neck and back, just as a comfortable seat. If you are sitting up or laying down, I invite you to relax, potentially putting one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, and just noticing what you feel with your inhalations and exhalations as you take deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling. And exhaling. We're going to get grounded in the present moment by noticing our senses. You can tilt your chin down towards your chest and close your eyes if that feels comfortable. And with your eyes closed, in your mind's eye, you might notice what shapes or colors you see. Focus your attention on those shapes and colors. Shift your awareness to what you hear. You might hear something far away from you, outside your window or outside the doorway. Or you might notice the sounds coming from somewhere close to you in the room. Shift your attention to what you taste. You might have just eaten a meal or had a mint. Feel the lingering taste in your mouth, just notice it. And now shift your attention to what you feel. How does the ground feel beneath you? What textures do you notice? What does your body temperature feel like versus the temperature in the room? And finally, bring your attention to what you smell. You might have lit a, lit a candle or have flowers near you. You might have essential oil someplace in your home. Or you might have just cleaned. What do you notice? And as you are in touch with your five senses and grounded in this present moment, if you're laying down, I invite you to bring your attention back to your body and wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. If you're seated, you can begin to flutter your eyes open. And everyone join me in a seated position, crisscross. We're going to start with our neck rolls because we hold a lot of tension in our neck. So begin by putting one ear to one shoulder, just noticing how that feels. And then just gently rolling that neck, chin to chest, then looking up, completing the circle back to your original place you started. Adding your breath, inhale and exhale as you move. 
You might want to change directions going backwards to forward. It is your choice. Being gentle with our neck, but knowing that we hold a lot of tension here. And we want to ease that tension. When you feel like you have enough roll, you can come back to a neutral spine, back, neck, and head aligned. And we'll start our shoulder shrug. Inhaling, bring our shoulders up to our ears. Exhaling, floating them down. Allowing the stress to melt away like snow. Inhaling up, exhaling down. You might want a shoulder shrug to the front, like forward shoulder shrugs. And then change directions, sending your shoulder blades down your back as you move and breathe. Taking the time to concentrate and release that stress from that area. Awesome. Our neck and shoulder rolls are done, so we're going to bring our knees up putting our feet flat in front of you. I'm going to take this pillow and put it next to me so that I can bring my feet to my side and my knees down. Sitting up nice and tall, I'm gonna put my left forearm to the ground and reach up and over, getting that nice side stretch. You might look up, noticing how you can open up your heart versus looking down and opening up your ribs. Just so notice how that feels when that side stretch coming up through the opposite hand goes down and you stretch up. Inhaling back, forearm on the ground, stretch. Breathing through your side body, noticing a stretch you feel as you reach for the side and coming back around and stretching. Awesome job. Noticing how that feels in your body. Swing your legs around to the opposite side. I'm My feet are now on my left side, so I'm gonna bring my right forearm down, stretching up, looking up, and then potentially looking down, noticing the change as we're stretching. Inhaling and exhaling at the natural rhythm of our body, coming up and stretching to the opposite side. Awesome job, coming back around. Forearm on the ground, stretching. Breathing into your ribs and your side body. Opposite stretch. Great job. And then bring your hands out and your feet potentially comes out straight and your legs come out straight. You can point or flex your feet at your choice, sending your both uh, hands back and just do a gentle heart opener looking up. Shoulder blades together, do a few breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And gently come around to tabletop. Your um, knees are going to go directly underneath your hips, and your hands are going to go directly underneath your shoulders, having that nice straight back so that uh, if potentially someone came and ate off lunch off of us, then that would, you would be a great table for them. Looking forward, look up, send your shoulder blades together, your belly button down to the ground, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, rounding your back, chin to chest. Let's get a nice, Final stretch, inhale, shoulder blades together, looking up, exhale, 
round your back, chin to your chest, belly button to your spine. Awesome job. Do this at your own natural pace, linking your breath, inhaling as you look up, and exhaling as you bring your chin to your chest. Awesome job. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome. Great job taking a time to just breathe and move. On your last Cow and cat, send your hips back to child's pose, either with your knees apart or your knees together. Put your forehead on the ground and just gently release any tension from your back and your hips. You can put your hands out in front of you or your hands down to your hips next to you. It is your choice. Also, you can put your knees together. I was just modeling knees apart, but this is also a, ch a chance for you to have a nice release for your back. Do a few breaths here in child's pose before gently coming up. And then potentially coming up to your knees if that feels okay, and then up to a standing position. Great job. We're going to be in mountain pose at the top of your yoga mat. This looks like this if you're new to yoga. Your, hip, your feet are hip distance apart and your palms are down, fingertips pointing to the ground. So your palms are out, point, <laughs> your palms are out, excuse me. Now we're going to do a half sun sequence here and it wakes up our whole body and it's also a gentle stretch if you ever need just um, a quick and easy movement be as you are going about your day. And by you do the sun sequence anytime, anywhere, whenever you need to. Follow along with me to learn it. Inhale, look up, extended mountain. Exhale, forward fold. You can be gent gently bend your knees if you'd like. Inhale, look up, extended mountain. Exhale, mountain pose. Awesome job. Let's do it three more times. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up. Exhale, mountain. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look up. Mountain. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Your breath sounds awesome, I'm sure. Inhale. And exhale. Notice if you're able to clear your mind entirely doing the half sun sequence. If you want a more um, kind of rigorous full body stretch, we're going to add on to that half sun sequence and do a full sun sequence. The way that we teach it at Youth Yoga Project is do a low lunge to step back into downward dog. Follow me if you'd like to watch before you join or join me for three sun sequences in a row. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Great job. Inhale, bring your right foot back, low lunge, look up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, make a triangle with our body, hips up to the sky, heels down below. You can bend one knee, then bend the other because this is our first downward facing dog and we can take the opportunity to stretch the backs of our legs. Awesome job. When you're ready, look between your hands and come down to a plank pose, top of a push up or come to your tabletop again. Bend your knees, cobra pose, look up. Flip your feet, downward facing dog. Awesome job. 
Now we're going to go back to our low lunge. You're going to do a three-legged dog, lifting your right leg up. Good job. Bend your knee, send it through. And what you're going to do here, because this is kind of tough, is you got to push it through to uh, go in between your hands again. And then you can uh, look up low lunge. Awesome job. Forward fold. Extended mountain, mountain. And as you can see, it's a repetitive movement, so some things are repeating itself twice in that middle part um, being the only time where we do a couple poses once. So most of the poses we get a chance to do twice. So let's do the whole sun sequence two more times, getting our whole body stretch. Here we go, linking one breath to one movement, inhale, Look up, extended mountain, exhale, forward fold, bending your knee, bringing your right foot back, look up, exhale, downward facing dog, awesome job, inhale, come up to your top of a push up or plank or tabletop, exhale, cobra, inhale, look up, Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Low lunge. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Extended mountain. Exhale. Mountain. Great job. Hopefully you're getting a hang of it and you're loosening up. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up to your plank pose or tabletop. Exhale, come down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up to your low lunge. Great job. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale, mountain. Wow, great job. Notice how you feel. Do you feel any changes to your brain, body, or breath? I hope so. You might get a little bit heated like me. So we're going to stay standing to do some standing postures now. Take your right foot and plant it on the ground. Take your left foot and plant it on the ground in that uh, mountain pose. You can stick your toes off the ground and then just notice how they can come down one by one, toe by toe, planting your feet. So you feel nice and strong in your mountain pose. Take your right foot back and plant your heel down at a 45 degree angle. So your toes are pointing to the corner of your yoga mat. Your left knee is bent and your, your left foot is pointed to the front. Frame your face. This is warrior one. Shoulders down. You look super strong. Awesome job. Notice any stretch you feel. Turn your back toes to a 90 degree angle and then open up your arms to a T and your hips come to the side, bending your front knee really strong. Warrior two. Awesome job. Flip your front hand up. Reverse warrior. Great job. Finding that nice stretch. Come back around to warrior two. And then potentially flip your heel up high, lunge, step back to our favorite pose mountain. Great job, we just did the right side. Now we'll do the left side. I'm gonna switch positions so that you can see me. Here we go. Inhale, step your left foot back. 
making sure that your heel comes down to the ground, your toes are at a 45 degree angle pointed to the corner of your mat. Frame your hips to the front, bend your front knee, look front. Awesome job, feel that stretch in your body, any sensations you feel. Shoulders down, away from your ears. Now we're gonna to pivot to warrior two. Pivoting our back feet so that they are now 90 degrees. Bending our front knee even more, teeing our arms and our hips come to the side. Gaze out over your fingertips. Great job. Flip your hand, reverse warrior. That nice stretch. Awesome. Now come back around, pivoting your heel off the ground. If you wobble like me, that's okay, just come back. Frame your face, bend your knee. Get that um, back leg straight because this is um, our high lunge. And then come to our favorite pose again, warrior. Awesome, so that was our standing postures. We did warrior one, warrior two, and the reverse warrior. If you wanna keep practicing that, do that. But for um, our class today, what we're gonna do is move to a balancing pose. And this is um, a great thing for us to just clear any thoughts that we're um, ruminating in. Our left hemisphere and our right hemisphere talk to each other when we have any balancing opportunities. And this will allow us to really clear our thoughts and focus our mind. So stand in your mountain pose, and really we're gonna do tree pose. So root into the left foot, pretending there's roots growing from the bottom of your feet to the soil and the ground underneath you. Pop onto the ball of your foot on your right side, and then send your right knee out. At Youth Yoga Project, we make a kickstand um, with our ankle, and so it's a nice gentle balance. But if you'd like to, you can bring your foot up your leg or place it on um, your thigh above your knee. It is your choice. You can bring your hands to your heart center or grow your branches, pretending you're a nice sturdy tree, finding a focusing point to balance and breathing in and breathing out and breathing in and breathing out. Awesome job. Come down to mountain pose and notice any changes you feel on one side of your body versus the other side. Now root down into your right foot, sending the branches down to the ground, into the soil, rooting your foot so it does not move. Pop up to your left ball of your foot, send your knee to the side. Find your kickstand with your heel, or excuse me, with your ankle, and um, decide where you want to put your foot. Bring your hands to your heart center or grow your branches. Finding your focus point, let's do a few breaths here, in through your nose and potentially out through your nose, which calms your nervous system and helps your inhalations and exhalations be super strong and long. Great job. And come down to mountain pose. Just notice any changes you feel. Now that we've evened out, we've done right side and left side. And if you're ready, you can sit down to the ground again. Now that we're ready to kind of get ready for relaxation and come back down to root ourselves on the mat. I'm sitting in butterfly pose with my soles of my feet touching. And you can just notice how this feels, sending your um, heels towards your body. However this looks in your body, it could look like this, or it could look like this. Or if this doesn't feel comfortable at all, you can just crisscross your legs. Just rooting your sits bones down and noticing any stretch you can feel in your hips. Awesome job.
Now what we're going to do is we're going to move to the ground for our bridge pose. So lay down, bending your knees so that your heels come close to your seat as possible and your arms are straight, palms down, next to your hips, next to the side body. And you're going to press up through your feet, through your arms, and through your hands, sending your hips to the sky bridge. This helps us to reverse the blood flow and get a little bit of an inversion to help our body to relax. Just feel something different. Making sure you're lifting up through your feet and lifting up through your palms and your arms. And then gently come back down. We'll get a chance to do that again. Seeing if it feels any different the second time around. Inhale, lift up. Send your hips to the sky, press down. Couple breaths here, relaxing your face, relaxing your neck. And when you're ready, come down to the ground. Awesome job. Just take a moment to notice how you're feeling. We were able to relieve stress in our neck and our shoulders and our spine and our hips, potentially in your legs with that full body stretch and finding focus with our balancing poses. I'd like you to come to tabletop legs for a nice supine twist. So your knees are over your hips. And then just gently go side to side, giving yourself a nice massage. You might go front and back. If you want to rock a little bit, it's your choice. This feels really nice. And then when you're ready, I want you to supine, excuse me, I want you to, you to cactus your arms and send your knees to the right side and look to the left. Supine twist. Awesome job. Breathe in, making sure your shoulder blades are on the mat on the floor. Notice your stretch. Notice any sensation you feel. And when you're ready, come back to that tabletop position. And as you're giving yourself an additional massage, we're going to go to the opposite direction. So send your knees over and up. <laughs> Don't be like me and hit your door. Make sure you have space. And then look the opposite way with your cactus arms or your T arms, it is your choice. Making sure that you shoulder blades are on the ground. Do a couple breaths on this side. When you're ready, come up to that tabletop position again, but this time straighten out your legs and find your relaxing position, potentially placing the palms of your hands up, relaxing your ankles to the side, gently releasing any tension you feel in your shoulders in your face. 
If your tongue is on the roof of your mouth, bend it to the bottom of your mouth. Just go back to noticing the sensations you feel. The senses that you can get in touch with. What do you notice about the textures you feel? The ground beneath you, your body temperature, the room temperature. What do you notice if you've gently closed your eyes? Do you see shapes or colors? What do you notice that you hear? What do you hear far? What do you hear close? And then finally, what do you smell and taste? As you ground yourself in the present moment, I'm going to lead you through a guided visualization by asking you to visualize a thought bubble. above your head. And just notice that there's a thought or a feeling that you've been holding on to that you don't want to hold on to anymore. It's not helping you right now. Put it in that thought bubble. See it written in that thought bubble. Notice it above your head and let it float away to be recycled in the universe. Now turn your attention to the possibility that you are open and aware of a potential new emotion. that you can let in. It could be a sense of freedom. Potentially that every obstacle that we face in these coming days and weeks is an opportunity. What thought or emotion will you fill into your thought bubble now? What will you allow to wash over you? What will you encompass when you leave this guided visualization and walk into your day after yoga? I invite you to put something that serves you and will help you in the future. It might be strength or possibility, or opportunity, or empathy, compassion for yourself and others, patience, humor. What emotion or thought would you like to be filled up with right now? Take the next 20 seconds to find that thought and let it sink in. If your mind wanders, you can always come back to your breath. Or your senses. I hope that this guided visualization has been helpful for you as you bring your attention back to this present moment by wiggling your fingers and wiggling your toes. 
potentially bringing your knees into your chest and giving yourself a hug. Gently floating back and forth, so up and down. Possibly sending your knees to the side. And using one hand or some way <laughs> to push yourself up to a seated position and join me in a comfortable position where we will end our yoga with three breaths, putting one hand on our heart and one hand on our belly. I invite you to close your eyes, inhaling three, exhaling three, inhaling two, exhaling two, inhaling one, and exhaling one. If your eyes are closed, you can gently flutter them open and know that I appreciate you and I value you and I'm sending you compassion and strength and gratitude for joining me for yoga today. I'm Julia from Youth Yoga Project, and thank you. Have a great day.